Thank you. Now, Jackie Haynes is with us. Morning, Jackie. Morning. You've got some more results today. I have. And now I know that you like a barbecue, and many of us like to enjoy our gardens during the warmer months, if we were getting any. Um, well, there was... But unfortunately, many of us forget to, to secure our windows and doors. And one thief that we caught last year took full advantage of that situation. This CCTV shows a thief walking up the driveway of a family home in Nottinghamshire. He doesn't go straight into the house. He checks the coast is clear first. Then, as the front door is not locked, he just lets himself in. After a few minutes, he comes out having stolen a watch and some jewellery. He'd almost made his escape when he was spotted by a decorator who was working in the house. But when questioned, the burglar brazenly walked off. He might have thought he'd got away with it until we ran the CCTV on Crime Watch Roadshow. Just so cheeky, wasn't um, it? So what happened after the show? Well, we received ten calls, all suggesting names, and DC Simon Carter eliminated all but nine of them. The final one led into a man called Darren Coomber, who fitted the description perfectly and was a prolific criminal. And he actually had the six-inch, very distinctive scar right across his face. OK, so they've identified their, their suspect. What happened then? Well, as the luck would have it, he was already in prison for a very similar offence. And in fact, as Simon turned up to interview him, the first thing he said to him was, I knew you were coming, it was only a matter of time. That's He'd actually true. been watching Crime Watch Rojo himself and seen the CCTV footage. Brilliant. So, presumably he admitted the offence? Yes, he did. He admitted that, plus another burglary, which was discovered after he discarded a handbag which had come from that thing, after he'd made off from a cab. So this guy's all over the place. Yeah. Um, now, he uh, pleaded guilty to that and was given another four and a half years in prison on top of his current sentence. On top of what he was already serving. Yeah, so absolutely. a really strong result there. And I know yeah. the victim of, of that crime was, was very happy as well. He was a very distinctive character. And as soon as it got aired, it was within a matter of weeks, if that, that we had an identification um, and obviously got to court. It was some satisfaction, not... Not complete closure, because you can't replace the items that have gone, they're extremely sentimental, and no money can replace that, they're irreplaceable. However, putting that person behind bars, um, you know, for taking two items of jewellery, it's a, it's a decent sentence. I think without the programme, and getting it shown on Crime Watch Roadshow, I don't think we would have got a result. So some degree of closure there for, for Helen, yeah. as we saw. And, and you've got another one for us as well. Yeah, well, we always get a really good success with our faces. And one in particular last year, you may remember, Darren Cowland, also known as Darren Tear. Now, he obviously realised as well that this game was up because he gave himself in to a police patrol car, I, I believe. <laughs> Which is brilliant. Um, now, he pleaded guilty to grievous bodily harm with intent and a sexual assault and was actually given 14 years in prison. Really strong in, sentence. In, prison, in March this year. Brilliant. A really, really good result there for someone that clearly needs to be off the streets. Jackie, you're back next week with more. Excellent. Look forward to that. Always great to hear about cases being solved. Let's see what Sean's up to in Manchester.